straight to our discussion at this hour we look into how young people are being or are benefiting from uh, this industry of tourism in terms of food is the food and this i'm speaking to prince uh, stanley like he wants to call himself i know him with another name but for the purpose of this show i'll refer to him as prince stanley good evening sir good evening to you very much. It's a pleasure to have you here. You. you know, for a while I've been following you on social medias and I have seen, I've been seeing you post uh, food and I'm like, uh, what is wrong with this? <laughs> I, mean, I mean, are you kind of advertising for people? What goes on? Uh, thank you very much for giving me the opportunity to explain what it is that um, we are doing. Uh, my name is Stanley Prince, but uh, most people know me as... Uh, MC Stano. Mm -hmm. um, I'm the admin of a, of a WhatsApp group that is called Team Food is Kenya, which is a platform that brings together food enthusiasts who, you know, uh, come together and just share pictures and videos of food, uh, network, mm -hmm. uh, give recommendations, give uh, discounts on food products and services. Right. And uh, we patron um, uh, restaurants and eateries that are owned by the members of the group. Mm -hmm. We have um, three WhatsApp groups, uh, the main one that started a year and five months ago, mm -hmm. and we branched out to Mombasa, and we're going to Kisumu very soon. And um, uh, this is a group of now about 500 people. Right. And uh, the idea, and um, the group has uh, over 50 restaurant owners and um, people who are caterers and that kind of a thing. Mm -hmm. So the reason why we put this thing together is that we realize that the food industry um, uh, of food service is something that will always be there. Come COVID, come whatever. Mm -hmm. People will always find money to eat, otherwise sure. you will not survive. So we came together to do what we call communal marketing. Mm -hmm. And that's one thing that um, most people do not understand. They wonder why is it that I'm always posting about food. Mm -hmm. It's not about just food per se, but it's about empowering the youth. Because mm -hmm. uh, you see, if you are a restaurant owner and you're in a WhatsApp group and you have 200 people eating at your restaurant every day, you you your business will stay afloat. We're giving you a cash injection, you know. Mm -hmm. There are people who uh, bake cakes, uh, that kind of a thing. So you have uh, bakers, you have people who cook different kinds of foods, wedding caterers, mm -hmm. you have restaurant owners, you have people who are staff in different restaurants. And uh, what has Team Foodies Kenya been able to do? We've organized uh, foodie meetups, seven in Nairobi so far, mm -hmm. the last one being at uh, Magan Beans um, Restaurant Village Market. So uh, every month or so, we go to a different restaurant and we promote that business, and um, that's part of uh, sampling the different culture. Mm -hmm. Thus, we are empowering the youth who run those restaurants because most of us are young people. Right. You have uh, people who run these businesses who are below the age of 35, mm -hmm. and uh, they do this for a living, so we're supporting their business. Um, we were in Mombasa on uh, September 26th, um, and we were able to, you know, have about 50 people in a restaurant, no alcohol, just mm -hmm. food. And oh, it's, right. it's, it's, a, it's a new kind of uh, domestic tourism where you're focusing on th the food that a particular culture community is consuming. All right, I want you to hold on that thought as we take a very short break and then when we come back we will dig deep into how Mombasa was and the rest of the places you go and of course we will also be looking into uh, in terms of the customer relations and maybe uh, how how do I move from if I have this small business how do I make it grow as far as uh, food is of concern and of course even other uh, areas of entrepreneurship keep it right if I will be taking a very short break when we come back there's much more into this interview stay tuned. Y254 Imagine Thank you for staying with us. We are having a discussion on Business Tuesday. We're looking into Team Foodies, which is a Kenyan, Kenya's platform of food enthusiasts uh, whose motto is frivoling, the, frivoling life through food and friendship. So Stanley is the guest I'm having today and he just mentioned of the places they have been and how things have been. But we need to get deeper into if it's a business. How are you building customer relation and customer sustenance? Because Nikikula Leo, Alafu Kesho Nikose Kwingye. Thank you for that question. Um, 
one of the experiences or one of the benefits that Team Food is Kenya is going to be able to assist in terms of youth empowerment and especially within the food industry mm -hmm. is to provide a platform, a credible platform for customer feedback. Mm -hmm. We have, um, as I mentioned, over 50 restaurants and um, catering services um, represented within our network. And every time a member goes to this place and does not get service that is satisfactory, mm -hmm. you are able to give instant feedback to the highest level of management because the restaurant proprietor is in the group mm -hmm. and you'll be able to take action on your complaint. Either your salad was not fresh mm -hmm. or um, there was an insect in the food, you know, mm -hmm. or uh, a waiter attempted to give you a receipt without an ETR. Some of these um, small business malpractices or challenges which mm -hmm. we face in our small businesses, you are able, as a, as a business owner, mm -hmm. you are able to um, improve your business because you have a platform that gives you uh, direct contact with your customers mm -hmm. in a very friendly environment. It's not very critical, like you have Yelp or other services, mm -hmm. but we're giving people a platform where they can be able to interact and mm -hmm. thus improve um, their business services. And that is a, a critical element, Hillary, that we are hoping as Team Foodies Kenya will be able to mm -hmm. actually expand and have um, restaurants and you know uh, food services that are actually registered with team food is kenya and are accredited mm -hmm. and we can tell our members you know we, we we want you guys to go and eat at awagas because um, service is good the f fish is good that kind of a thing and they can be able to see um, feedback from customers who have been there basically to give you a localized um, customer feedback mm -hmm. appreciation all right you've mentioned you've been moving around yes. what, what informs your move movement why would you go to mombasa when you go there are you looking to the cultural dishes or are you going off to the foreign dishes uh one of the things that uh, team food is kenya does our, our our motto is flavoring life through food and friendships so we hope to bring people together every time we have a meetup you know people can be able to do business networking and social networking you know mm -hmm. uh, we have a couple in the in the <laughs> network who've been together for six months after, uh, and they met on the group mm -hmm. and i'm very proud of that <laughs> so i hope to attend that wedding very soon mm -hmm. um, the second thing that is very important for team food is kenya is uh, celebrating culture kenyan culture through food right and if you look at uh, the meetups that we've been able to do so far we've been able to have um, a chinese cuisine meetup you've had one that um, uh, focused on ethiopian you had one that did west african and you had one that appreciated african traditional uh, food mm -hmm. when that that is nairobi because nairobi is a cosmopolitan area you're True. going to see a lot more wider than that mm -hmm. but when we go outside nairobi we visit areas and we want to sample the local cuisine of that community mm -hmm. so that you can be able to appreciate their culture Mm -hmm. So it's not just going to eat, but we want to go and do domestic tourism and see how does this community live, how does this community eat. Mm -hmm. So when we went to Mombasa on September 26th, you know, throughout the weekend, you know, we had Madafu, which is the coastal uh, coconut drink that many people are not familiar about. Mm -hmm. You know, you had a lot of the uh, coastal Arab and Indian uh, foods and snacks and that kind of a thing. Mm -hmm. Biryani, gulab, all that wonderful stuff. Mm -hmm. We were at uh, the Alishan Seaview restaurant and they gave us wonderful service. Thank you so much, Farhana. Okay. Uh, we are going to Kisumu right. uh, on 7th of November at uh, the Hearts, Palms and Memories um, restaurant, which is located uh, just off Rari Beach in Siri. Mm -hmm. And we're going to experience uh, the proper Luo culture, mm -hmm. uh, Luo cuisine. You know, when you tell people Luo culture, they, uh, Luo cuisine, they only think of fish, but they don't, they don't know right. what kind of fish we have. You know, we're mm -hmm. going to show them things like Athola, things like Alia, mm -hmm. uh, Kuon, all these different things that are popular <laughs> with the uh, Luo cuisine. And it's so much more, you know, mm -hmm. the vegetables like in our Suga, Kina Dek, all mm -hmm. of that. And uh, we're also going to experience other parts of the Luo culture, the dancing and a lot of wonderful things. Mm. So oh, right. it's, 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 it's about the food and it's about the culture. Mm -hmm. So we are hitting two or three birds on stone, food, culture and um, mm -hmm. empowerment of the youth. All right. Well, you have been, well, you have been uh, doing this, bringing people together and trying to appreciate other people's culture. We're at a time in our country. Actually, we are now nearing 2022 and uh, communities appreciating each other sometimes it seems to be hard for us. What are some of the challenges that you have been facing for the few times you have interacted with other communities? 
Uh, I think there's the issue of uh, perception, Hilary, which is very important. Mm -hmm. um, in our group, we were trying to plan um, while we were, before we even went to Mombasa, we asked people, um, after Mombasa, where do we go next? You know, mm -hmm. we had options, Kisumu, Kitui, Nakuru, and what's not. Mm -hmm. And uh, somebody asked in the group, uh, Kitui, Tuneda Kukula Vumbi, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it became a problem. So eventually, we decided to go to Kisumu, then Kitui, mm -hmm. because on, and Kitui, we are going to have the Kamba culture, uh, cultural cuisine and most people have no idea that the Kamba have very wonderful foods you know mm -hmm. you talk Mudokoi. of your Dokoi, you talk <laughs> of Nzu you talk mm -hmm. of uh, Asali all these wonderful things mm -hmm. that uh, many people have no idea about mm -hmm. and it's it's all about perception and knowledge so we need to be able this uh, food meetups that we are doing outside of Nairobi is a wonderful opportunity for people to learn about the culture of the country mm -hmm. through food Right. Travel, go to uh, Kitui, see what the Kamba people eat. Mm -hmm. After that, you know, we'll take you to Nakuru, which is very cosmopolitan. Perhaps we'll go to Northeastern, you know, mm -hmm. visit Garissa, Isiolo. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm sure you've never eaten camel meat or uh, something like that. I, I, I have <laughs> never, but I'm forgetting this uh, food I'm familiar with. I mean, from Isiolo. Yes, so this is this is our culture, and there's a lot to experience in terms of tourism. And I'd like to encourage the tourism stakeholders to uh, um, come on board with this thing because um, you will always find a market for people who are ready to eat. Once you give them a good product and you give them good service, you'll be able to encourage uh, domestic tourism. Mm -hmm. And this in turn is going to um, empower our, our youth. Mm -hmm. uh, we've seen youth have been given wheelbarrows. So, to know about to pay Masahani PSC, to turn your leg Navijiko. and all of that. So, mm -hmm. our young people in the group who, you know, uh, are caterers and uh, they do baking and this kind of thing, uh, we're going to support their business. The people who sell, you know, fresh juice in our group, um, fruits, uh, that sort of business, you know, uh, mm -hmm. vegetables, they supply fresh vegetables. And uh, because, you know, COVID has come with new economic realities. Not everybody has been able to secure their job um, during this period. Right. So a lot of people have been forced to go back to agriculture and uh, mm -hmm. food entrepreneurship. So that is something that we are passionate about and will continue to support mm -hmm. to make sure that our youth are able to sustain themselves. Mm. All right. Other than the online platform that you have been so much uh, using and what I've done uh, is really giving you the, uh, the ATM, what other ways have you been using to encourage and to create awareness of uh, bringing pe to people together uh, through uh, food and racism? Uh, we are available um, online. We have uh, platforms on Instagram and on Twitter. Uh, both our handles are um, at 254foodies. That's for Twitter and Instagram. And we are hoping that this message is going to be able to um, go out um, long term so that people can be able to understand what it is that we are hoping to achieve. Um, in the Kisumu meetups, we are also uh, hoping to engage with the local radio station uh, stations over there and you know just to reach out to the community in those areas mm -hmm. so that they can be able to come and highlight their culture through cuisine mm -hmm. yeah. all right and now I, wa I want you to respond to this question for uh, being as a summary uh, in terms of why should i join foodies uh join team foodies kenya so that you can be able to experience uh, a network of people who appreciate fine dining mm -hmm. it will improve your knowledge uh, on cuisine um, at et et food etiquette and you're also going to be able to enjoy discounts on food products and services you know in the in the very near future team foodies kenya members mm -hmm. are going to be having um, discounted rates mm -hmm. at restaurants which are affiliated to us so it's a wonderful opportunity mm -hmm. you're also going to get a market of people who are always ready to try out your products and services so if you sell kitchen appliances mm -hmm. you sell um, those kind of things you know uh, food foodstuffs uh, vegetables we are mm -hmm. going to give you a ready market for your things mm -hmm. as long as you have good products and you have good services Team Food is Kenya is, is your home. All right. Uh, a question is coming in. If I, I, am, I want to be part of you, uh, you're going to Mombasa. How do I come? Or Nijipeleke, alafu nikuje nikule. Uh, the Mombasa trip was a bit, uh, it was actually a uh, trial and error because it was our first uh, activity since the COVID struck. So, and we were very grateful. We had an attendance of almost 50 people. Mm -hmm. uh, and we're going to Kisumu this time. It's a bit more organized. We've partnered with uh, a group in Kisumu called Tembea Kisumu mm -hmm. uh, because we really want to uh, um, emphasize on the aspect of cultural appreciation. Mm -hmm. So we have organized the transport. We have organized accommodation, you know, apart from just the, f apart from the food 
Rugby event which is going to happen on the Saturday of 7th, mm -hmm. there's going to be a bit more of an itinerary. So we're going to go around Kisumu, appreciate their culture, you know, mm -hmm. visit the different places and then have the foodies event. So anybody who is interested, you can reach out to us. Um, at 254 foodies is our handle or you can be able to reach out to me and uh, we'll be able to do something together all right thank you so much stanley for coming and uh, trying to tell us what um, we may have not known until uh, you came here not everyone is on social media i always say this because i know in the never i'm in facebook <laughs> says, you want to scroll to turn up to my best to spot but i history measure thank you for what you're doing for young people and if you ha who you have a young uh, or a small business let me say exactly, <laughs> you have a yes. small business at a company bakery you are you can join such a group and you'll benefit from them at a common customer community are reliable Moga, you know come on other juice mm -hmm. we, we welcome like in you. kisumu mkinu no murenda unajua mama mboga hapa to exactly we're supporting the local business through eating now ah, you see exactly tumbo muhimu tumbo muhimu <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much and back home thank you so much for being part of us uh, we appreciate your company and the family of kimani karanja thank you so much for watching my name is deriva hillary until again see you on monday have yourself a very good night actually tomorrow see you tomorrow the same time same place good night <laughs>